There's been another increase in the time detainees are being held at a Kent centre prior to being deported. Just last year, the Chief Inspector of Prisons criticised the average length of stay at Dover Immigration Removal Centre. It then stood at around 131 days. A more recent survey shows inmates being held for even longer, an average of 195 days. John Roper is the chairman of the Dover Immigration Centre Independent Monitoring Board, which has just published its annual report. Earlier, he told me the details in the report. There are a number of complex cases that prove difficult to resolve. And that, of course, puts up the, the, the average. Um, the the, the re- difficult working relationships with a number of countries with whom it's difficult to arrange emergency travel documents, that's one reason. Uh, the generic, generic legal barriers, usually for human rights reasons, uh, to remove to certain countries, that's another one. The appeal processes, and of course we always get non-cooperation in the removal process on the part of the detainees. Majesty's Chief Inspector of Prisons in May last year highlighted problems at the centre. You've highlighted problems at the centre, but, you know, uh, what is, the solution is a bit more difficult to come by, isn't it? It is very difficult to come by, and, and that, that's recognised the Chief Executive of UKBA and the, and the, the Immigration Minister, Damon Green. They both recognise it. It, it, is a pro- it is a major problem. What do you, I mean, you say your report's encouraging. In what way is it encouraging? There are four determining factors considered to be a general guide when seeking to establish a social climate that exists within a removal centre, and namely the number of actual self-harm incidents that have occurred during a specific period, the amount of times the use of force was required, the total number of times the file, the files were opened for detainees causing concern, and the occasions when it was deemed necessary to commit a detainee to the separation unit. For the second successive year at Dover, uh, they witnessed significant reductions in all those four areas. And I think that's a testament to the care and dedication of the various members of staff directly involved. That's John Roper, chairman of the Dover Immigration Centre Independent Monitoring Board. Their report just out. Well, uh, Vebi Kasumi is the director of the Dover Detainee Visitors Group. Uh, and he's on the line now. Good morning. Good morning, John. Um, I mean... What we heard there from John Roper is that he says that there are some encouraging points in his report. Do you agree? Uh, well, I think uh, on, on some ways I may agree with John, but I think uh, there is no encouraging on, on the time when you have indefinite detention. and they, The detention seems to be longer and longer these days. And thank you for giving me opportunity to speak about it. The, the problem is, Vebi, is that uh, having spoken to very many people and the, um, Her Majesty's Inspector in Prisons as well, they're all saying that there, these, there are many factors why these people are spending longer and longer in this centre, and some of those factors are outside of anybody's control. Well, I, I think actually I listen very well to John Loper, which I personally know, but my, my response to that will be that uh, UK is one of the three countries in Europe which has not put a time limit in detention, and I think um, UKBA should, put, uh, should get act together and, uh, and deal with these cases. You cannot just uh, lock people in, throw the key away, and and have an indefinite detention. Well, let, let, well, let's take an example of somebody in that detention centre who may have just come out of prison, let's say, uh, mm-hmm. is a foreign national who has broken the law, gone to prison, and is now to be deported, and he's in that centre because the country that he's being deported to are delaying the paperwork, and that often happens. Are you saying that that person should be let out? Um, John, to, to respond to your question, not only about that person, but I can uh, respond directly about that person. There are different persons in there, uh, overstayers. They are uh, students which have um, worked over 20 hours a week. They are uh, asylum seekers, which their process is still going on. There are, there's complexity around that, but not only the complexity, even if I take that person, you know, if, if you charge someone and you send to prison for three years and that person get out of uh, prison, and, and goes in detention, there's no time limit in it, I think that doesn't make a sense. To be honest, there's a time limit in life itself, and uh, I think that uh, it's a time that government think about putting a time limit in detention. Mm. Um, just, I mean, you're obviously in, commu- in, in touch with people inside that centre who mm-hmm. are waiting for whatever. I mean, tell me the sort of, how does it affect their, their lives? How do they respond to being in there? Uh, I, I'm just going to give you two comparisons. I have actually visited um, prison, Canterbury Prison, and I have spoken to to the prisoners, and they seem to be in much 
better mental health state for a reason because there is a time limit that a decision has been made and these people know when they're going to go, go out. Mm. Uh, the people in immigration detention, there is no time limit and the cost to, the, uh, to, to keep one there is £120 a day according to UKBA, UK Border Agency, uh, uh, government figures to the parliament on... Um, 2010 year mm. um, and I think that the, the detention what it, what it does to the human being is is an extensive I visited over 1500 immigration detainees and I would assure you that I haven't seen one which doesn't uh, have uh, some form of, of depression and the others uh, develop uh, quite severe mental health issues mm. and I would assure you John if I if I kept you into your house for a week and I give you all the opportunities, your mental health uh, wouldn't be so good. Vebi, thanks for joining us. Vebi Kasumi is the director of the Dover Detainee Visitor Group, just talking about the uh, new report out which says that uh, some people are spending longer in there than, than ever, basically. They're, 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 they're spending longer. And, and also, the, the point Vebi making, they don't actually know like, 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 like a, an ordinary prisoner when they're going to get out.